How are you doing? So, hey, I'm testing out the studio, um, seeing if it works. We've got remote uh, working. Um, we've got the team. See, we're going to we're testing some stuff out. But this is the thing for you. Like, we want to share with you some of the things we're doing and putting in place to to um, support our tenants. So maybe you've got uh, one single let, some multi lets. Maybe you've got port port portfolio. Maybe you've got rent to rents. Maybe you're starting out and you're thinking, what does happen when and something nobody could have predicted actually happens on a scale which is like beyond like this is like the biggest thing in living memory of this mon monstrosity scale size so i want to empower help give you the tools use the systems we utilize to give you more choice the reason you're here is because you're looking for some knowledge would you agree you can all make more money like if you lost all your money today and some of you might have gone bankrupt some of you might have been on the verge of complete catastrophic financial failure but can everybody bounce back from that You might have hardly any cash in the bank or no money. I can show you how you can actually control assets to create cash for every month. I can show you how to do no money down deals. I can also show you how to raise your venture finance, how to work with other people to add value. Tom's a great guy. He is a teacher. It is his background, very personable. Um, just good content, value for money, and uh, my only advice is do it now. I can show you how property can give you time and cash flow back genuinely wants to help people and that's something that's resonated with me because I genuinely want to help people as well as make some money. And I think if you're mentored by someone that's authentic like Tom, it resonates with you and it's going to help make your business go forward even more because you know he'll want to help you help other people. Tom's not talking theory, he does these deals himself, he does these strategies himself and he coaches you every step of the way to make sure that you're getting the same sort of level of success that uh, he does. So for me, the whole mantra of the past three years is, how do I make more money when I start to sleep? Property is different, and here's why. You ready? We're just testing out uh, whether we can actually um, show um, videos. We're going to be showing PowerPoints and stuff through this live streams in the, in the next few weeks. So just put, uh, testing it out there. But more importantly right now, um, what are we doing in terms of working with our tenants to make sure that they're supported? Because just think about it. Let's just pause. Let's just pause like money for a minute. Like we've got a lot of tenants and they're going to be feeling just like us. They're going to feel unsettled, uncertain, and they're going to have a lot of emotions inside. And it's going to go flow somewhere because... Not everybody is fully in control of their emotional intelligence. Like a lot of people, as soon as they get a feel a bit unsettled, they, they take it out on other people. And what's the easiest to take it out on people? The person maybe at the end of an email or the end of a Facebook comment or a text. And so what we're, what we're going to find, and I'm sure of it, over the next week in particular, especially when rent's about due, we're going to get potentially some um, frustration and anger our way. And it's not because that's really what they really feel. It's because they're, they're venting out what, what, what's going on in their, in their life. Like all that uncertainty, all the anxiety is coming through the keyboard and through the emails. And so we've got to be mindful of that. Um, at the same time, We've also, you've also got a business. So maybe you have uh, rent coming in. Like um, We've got to work with people on this. Um, uh, ultimately, uh, people are going to think, well, can I afford it right now? Um, so it's the, the key, 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 key thing with you and ourselves, and maybe you've got a managing agent, is they've got to be ringing the tenants now. Okay, Get on the phone, get communicating, and reaching out. Because if you do an email battle, if you're just doing like text battles, then you're going to find yeah, um, people can't read tonality. People can't read like um, how people are really behaving. And um, a lot of it can probably be caught well by just having a conversation. And the conversation might not be comfortable. Like some of the conversations are going to be hard and challenging. People are going through some tough times right now. Like all businesses are having a tough time right now. So it's all about like damage control just for the next few weeks. And um, we'll deal with whatever happens after that when it happens, because who knows what's coming. We can predict it, um, but who knows? Like, so let's let's deal with it right now. So what can we do uh, to, to work with tenants? Give them a call, 
start working out ultimately if they if they've still got a full time job they've got no financial challenges have they because they've got cash flow coming in and so those are the easy ones to deal with but they're still going to be saying can we get a rent reduction can we do it because they're going to be go they they're, they're going through the motions of this anxiety and stress and frustration so you're going to have to accept that there's going to be a group of tenants like that some tenants are going to be on finger on the pulse looking at every single social media feed. And when somebody says, by the way, you get 20% discount of X, they're going to believe it. And then they're going to start coming after that discount because that's a group of people and that's how they behave. So we've got to then manage those types of people. Then you've got the people who are, um, are actually key workers right now working long hours. And then the people are going to almost have to be fearful of those. So if you're, let's say you do house shares. You're going to be having there's going to be some anxiety of these key workers living inside these houses when when we're kind of in shutdown. So there's going to be some kind of communication flow of that as well, and there's the fears of I don't want to get infected. And so it's how do you communicate and um, mitigate the risks of all that. So things like making sure that if you have key workers that they that they're cleaning down um, and more so because they're going out and can bring come back into those communities. Um, the, the kitchen areas. If there's a shared bathroom, they've got to make sure that they're cleaning and wiping it down and be more mindful of where they're touching. Um, in the house, that everybody should be doing that anyway. Like That should be stuff you should be um, reminding them now almost on a weekly basis as part of your message. And if you're not managing them, because like, we have our own managing company, then you should be telling your management company uh, asking them, can you please be doing this as well? What are you doing to communicate? You Now, the more ever before, uh, you should be 125% of effort in communication with your customers, which are our tenants. So communicating out, being in dialogue is going to avoid a lot of stress and anxiety later on. Um, so because you're, you're having that communications pre-rent demand. And so, the, so we've got another camp of people, though, who will be struggling financially. And once again, it's working with them. Now, I'm not saying you're going to give them rent free periods because ultimately you've got a business. You're going to need cash flow, but it's working with them. Like, let's say you like we, we rent cars, we lease cars. And um, so like, we couldn't just say, by the way, Range Rover, we ain't going to pay the car right now. Uh, so with that in mind, like we, we've got to think, how do we cope with it? And so maybe it's talking about doing a payment plan or dragging it out a bit more than uh, to cope with their needs right now. But like people are going to be living in your houses. Like if you do house shares, there's going to be more operation costs because there's going to be gas, electricity, um, and they're going to be using it for all their work, working from home. So that you will have higher overheads. But if you do house shares like we do, when like cleaners, we can't put cleaners in now. The cleaners companies have sent us an email saying we're shut down. So like in the big picture, this is only three or four weeks. This is like a month. And um, so we've got to ask the tenants to step up, like we're all stepping up. So they're going to have to then um, contribute to keeping the shared areas clean. All we're going to do is at the end of this whole shenanigans, whenever it is, we're going to make sure we do a deep, deep, deep clean. So it's going to cost us a lot of money. So the money we're not spending in a cleaning right now is going to go on a deep dive clean across all our properties. So like even though the tenants don't feel like they're getting the service now, we're communicating with it. I'm explaining that it's going to come later. Do you think all tenants are going to be happy with that? No. Do you think um, we're going to get a wave of tenants who want um, discounts, refunds, all that stuff? Of course, because that's human nature. Because you've got the people who are the panickers, you've got the worriers, and you've got the people who just go, you know what? This is we're going to make the best of a bad situation. Like you, like in all situations, you're going to have all this, and just like you've got to be prepared that everybody's got to step up and work hard right now. Yeah. So like that's how we're thinking about it. It's rather than just bury your head in the sand and wait for it to blow over. If you've got rent coming in from your tenants, you need to step up, work with your managing agent, or if you're managing it yourself, communicate. Now, maybe your flow isn't communicating, then you need to just get over it and do it, okay? Get over it and do what it takes to get and work with people to make this situation the best it can be, yeah? So, like, what else are we doing? So we've gone, like, we can't clean our HMOs anymore, our house shares. We're, we're trying to damage control and um, proactively communicate with our tenants to ensure that rent is paid. And if people are struggling, we need to come up with some um, situations to, to help them be able to create a payment plan to afford it. Um, if Obviously, if the government starts saying there's going to be discounts and all that kind of thing, we will do whatever the government says and we will follow those guidelines like you should. But like rather than hearsay, rather than listening to like, oh, um, apparently this has happened, like the tenants were going to give you so much misinformation, just stick to um, the right path. Now, if you're not part of making it happen, sorry, if you're not part of 
properly invested with Tom Heaney. There's a, it's a free Facebook group. Go and join it because I'm going to be updating in there all the time the latest things about property management, tenants, rights, um, government opportunities for, for, for um, tax and also for um, if you've got a team of staff, whatever, how you can basically um, leverage and utilize the services which are available to you. So go and join that now. Properly invested with Tom Heaney. It's free. It just says, how do you know? It just says, you've, you've seen this um, live video and um, go and join. It's, it's my gift to you. So just think, now is the time to step up, communicate and ask and work with tenants. Okay. Just think, in one, two, three months time, we will be heading back to a different world and we, it'll be different to what it is right now and we'll deal with it. Now, there is some uncertainty. Um, we don't know what the market's going to be doing. Like, so for me right now, I'm not going to be buying any property. Like, I'm paused because the markets will change in just the next month or two. Like, you're not going to, you're going to, the challenge of getting bridging finance is going to be a challenge. The valuations are going to be a challenge. So now's not the time to be personally, I'm not going to be buying property. Um, now is the time to get prepared and get educated on ways you can help more landlords and people. Once we are back up and running, there's going to be motivated sellers out there. There's going to be people who need to move quickly for different reasons. So there's opportunities to get educated. So I'm going to be doing a live webinar um, just about this opportunity uh, this week. So keep your eyes peeled. Please do comment yes if you're interested, and it's going to be a free webinar about this. Just comment yes below, and we'll DM you a link when it comes live. So hit the DM below. And this is just an exciting opportunity if you just accept and deal with the fact that there's a lot of chaos going on, and there's always opportunity if you have the right mindset. Now, with the right mindset, we also have a free Facebook group. If you're interested in just like sharing ideas, what you can do at home, ideas of what you can do with your children, how you can look after your, your personal um, your mindset. And that's the making it happen uh, with Tom Heaney group. So the links are in the, in the comment box uh, very shortly. So there's a free group, but it's not about property. It's about you. It's about how you can be the best version of you, how you can contribute to others, sharing positive success stories, sharing your homeschooling, sharing the, 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 the wins that you were going on. Because even though in times of challenge right now, there's still lots of um, beautiful things going on, communities, helping each other. And like, let's celebrate that. So that's what that group's for. They're making it happen with the Tom Heaney group. Have a look at it. Um, it's going to be getting more traction over the next week or, uh, week or two. And I'd be a little bit fantastic to see you in there. So let's just finish off then with this, um, with this property stuff. Like non-essential maintenance isn't going to be happening. Like we've communicated this with the tenants because um, we, uh, people need to stay at home. So maintenance is stopping, cleaning stopping, um, and we're communicating. That is the key. So step out, communicate with all the tenants, reach out to them as much as you might not want to. These are your clients, your customers. These are what's going to which creating cash flow. You've got to step up. And ultimately, some of them are going to be feeling really fearful right now. They're going to give you a trade of negativity. And unfortunately, um, it's not necessarily they mean it. It's just they're fearful. And a lot of people are. And we've got to ride it together. And the best bit is if you're part of a community where people are, are like-minded and in a positive, supportive way, you're going to ride through it easier. So go join either Property Investors with Tom Heaney. It's a free group. Or Make It Happen with Tom Heaney. Those groups are free. Or I'll see you on the webinar when it goes live the next day or two because I really want to help you get through this and we'll get through this together. You're not on your own. Um, please do share this and I'll see you on the next live. Take care.